we spent the night in a Peel Forest campground. And we're just about ready to start our hike uh, to the Peel Peak, the little Mount Peel. You can just see it off in the very distance there. It's about a oh, three to four hour hike to the, to the summit. Uh, we start off on what's called the Ackland Falls track, which links into the, the, deer, the deer spur track and takes us all the way up to the summit. Uh, way back uh, from the Ackland Falls. The falls itself is nothing too spectacular. So now we're just about ready to start the the Allen the Allen's track. And we want to head to that little peel. That's the goal today. So it's three hours. So we've got a bit of a hook. Boy the wind's starting to kick up. I think that's a bellbird calling. I can't see him. He's up there in the treetop somewhere, but it's a different uh, note that he sings compared to the ones up at, around the Lake Taupo. I think that's a Peel Forest bellbird. Yeah, lots of tree roots, so you you got to have your head down and watch where you're going with your feet. Vegetation isn't anything to write home about, but it's a lovely, lovely track in the bush. Great place to go for a walk. First big tree. I think it might be a tocho, but I can't get close enough to the leaves to tell for sure. The first healthy tree, the rest of them a bit more anorexic. Right of the bush canopy for now. So if we're lucky we might have a, have a good view all the way to the summit, but uh, since it's a new track for us, we're not sure what to expect. We've been going almost an hour and a half, three and a half k's, all uphill. We decided to have a little snack break. Well, we're at the end of the Allen's track. And uh, it's the deer spur track that heads to the summit of Little Mount Peel. The track has got some a little bit more light on it now. The sun's cracking through the trees, and the tree canopy isn't quite as dense. But it will be a good uphill hoof, and maybe more exposed to the wind. The wind's just howling in here big time. So on the deer spur track now, it's a little over. Well, it's like two and a half hours to the summit. I think we should get some good views up here. Tracks nice and dry and smooth here, much more like the main highway. That main highway a real while ago has ended. Now we're back up to the up and the big steps. Cracking out of the bush completely now. There's Little Peel Peak, still a long ways away in the distance. And the uh, Canterbury Plains. And uh, the ocean out there. And the Rangitata River, how it just 
spreads out in many different pathways across that river flat. And we're seeing some water down there. Little ponds. I wonder what that is. I think they'd be rice paddies if you're anywhere else. To the track. There's more up, but we're above the tree line now, just going through tussock and the flax. We might be affected a bit more by wind from now on, they just need to come in gusts. We're only above the trees now. The wind's howling a gale. But we're making good progress to the summit. Making our way towards the summit. The wind isn't quite as bad in this highest ridge. Not like down below. Well, we made it to the summit, but boy, oh boy, she's not very pleasant up here. Calling a gale. We're hunkered down here on top, uh, just had our lunch. We're gonna head out of here soon. It's quite a climb. The wind, the gust of those winds is pretty scary when you're walking across that exposed ridge. Only one way out of here, and it's the same way we came up, so we gotta do it again. Magnificent views from up here, but uh, the wind is something else. The Rangitata River there, the Canterbury Plains and the Pacific Ocean. Anyway, we'll grab a little bit of lunch and uh, hopefully wait for a lull in the wind and then head on out of here. Get out of this wind and get down the hill into the bush. I think we left the worst of the wind on the summit. We're going down the ridge now uh, on the way down. The bearable wind in this part of the track. Beautiful light. Beautiful light. Uh, looking back at the grass, hey, it's just sparkling. I don't want you to take any more pictures of me walking down. Hmm. I don't want you to take any more pictures of me.
Well, that's a giant tow truck. Very nice. We've been coming down the, the fern walk, the last part of our hike off the top. It's been a very delightful track, uh, easy, flat. Uh, probably take us over an hour to get back to the campground from here, but it's been delightful. A better variety of trees. I just saw that giant tow truck. I think we get some kahikatea in here as well. But one thing I've noticed there's been an awful lot of uh, fuchsia. Fuchsia, not sure what the... There must be another name for them. That's a fuchsia there. Very different colored bark on the tree, so they stand out. And of course, the fern rock. These are ferns. There are lots and lots of ferns along the way. Okay. Now we're talking some big trees here. So this track is deserving its reputation. The up track this morning, the Ackland and the Allen Trail, were pretty uh, devoid of any interesting uh, trees. I think we saw two big toaches all the way. It was a very dense canopy that wasn't uh, much to write home about. But this portion of the track is great. The wind's still howling out there, but we're sheltered in the bush. Wow, here, look at this guy. That would probably be four meters in girth anyway. Probably more. That's a biggie. I don't think I've ever seen bigger tortures than this. To get back further to get some perspective. Boy, they're big trees. That's a tall one as well. Can't see the top of it. But she's a biggie. Look at the root. That was a tow truck. I think this might be... This would be a kahikatea. Different bark and different leaf structure. But also a big tree. Cool roots. Cool roots. Look at all the roots. Obviously, tramping over the roots doesn't seem to hurt it, but it certainly it gets his toes trod on quite a bit. Well, here's the end of our fern walk. I'm not sure how far it actually is to the campground, but, but we'll call this the end of our hike. The There's the fern walk. Six hours and 53 minutes. We've been on the go for six hours and 53 minutes. From woe to go. Bit of fluffing around, of course, filming, lunch stops, snack stops. But still, it's been a long day, but a quite impressive day. Little Mount Peel way off in the distance. We were on top of that less than three hours ago. Quite a hike. Mm -hmm.